Live from the heart of New York City, it's The Morning Show with Mike and Juliet. Thursday. Is cutting out the treadmill the secret to losing weight? What about eating all you want every other day? M&J investigates. Alternative weight loss plans that sound too good to be true. Speaking of our country, I think our entire country is on a diet. It seems that way sometimes. So let's get started with another edition of M&J Investigates. Today's topic, alternative weight loss plans. All right, first up, we're going to tell you about a diet that claims you only have to follow it every other day. That sounds amazing. I could do that. And you're still going to lose weight. Mm -hmm. Most people on diets do not like them. And one of the biggest reasons for that, some experts claim, is because most of us are unable to restrict our eating on a daily basis. Whatever the diet, if it means we're going to eat less of what we want every day, then we will probably fail. But cheer up, depressed, deprived dieters. There is yet another new diet hitting bookshelves. And it says you don't have to diet every day. It's called the alternate day diet, or the up day, down day diet. Developed by this smiling man, Dr. James B. Johnson. The diet allows you to eat whatever you want and however much you want on an up day. Then the next day, a down day, you eat anywhere from 20 to 50% of your normal intake. You might think the catch here is obvious, that after a down day, you're going to be hungrier than usual. But Dr. Johnson says, nope. He claims his research shows your appetite will be normal or even decreased. And will your willpower hold out? Dr. Johnson says, yes, claiming the secret is you can diet successfully for one day. We just can't do it every day. And guess what? Besides losing weight because you're eating less overall, Dr. Johnson says you will be healthier and live longer. For example, he points out studies in which animals fed 30 to 40% less calories than normal live 40% longer. So, could it be? Is there finally a diet we can go off every other day and still lose weight? Let's find out. Let's find out for sure. Please welcome the creator of the alternate day diet, Dr. James Johnson. And we also have joining us today on Stand by the Pete John, who says she went from a size 12 to a size 2 on the diet. I mean, you look amazing. Wow, you look fantastic. Also, our MJ panel investigates medical contributor, Dr. Mark Siegel, is here. And registered dietitian, Kerry uh, Gans, is here as well. And we're going to talk to them in just a second. But, Doc, uh, nice of you to be here today. Okay. Thank you for having me. How does this whole thing work? We saw, Mike told us a little bit about that in that package there. But you, you're on one day, off one day. Yes. Uh, it originated in animal studies where they were feeding the animals every other day and had these, these benefits in extending their lifespan and, and better health. So I decided to try something where not eating nothing, but eating about 20%, which I thought would be about the minimum I could get by with. And I was looking for the health effects. But then I found that over a period of several weeks, I was losing weight. And I felt that it might be useful as a weight loss program. And the major thing about it is the health effects. We've already published a study on asthma that shows that uh, asthma uh, subjects get mm. better within a matter of days. Do you think it works, well you say it works, do you think it works because our discipline in this country is a little low, I can stay on a diet for one day? Well that's, the, <laughs> that's what I discovered that uh, I've been on diets all my life because I've always had the, this problem of uh, being overweight and we all, those of us who are who tend that way will have this but you can't all of our lives. You can't overeat on the up day. How many calories should we have on our up day? Well, whatever you uh, would normally eat with and maintain a stable weight. Now, see, that's, so that's, this is where I would be confused because I would like to eat, you know, for breakfast, some cereal, afternoon, maybe a pizza, for dinner, you know, chicken. Right. But, but I'm concerned that I wouldn't know where, where the line would be to stop. Well, there is uh, some play in that, and the basic rule is that you just eat to the point of satisfaction and don't overeat. And if you're, if you're slightly overweight and you're eating normally and you don't mm -hmm. gain or lose weight, that's a stable amount of calories. Now, there, one of my colleagues has shown that on the day when you're eating, 
even if you don't eat anything on the down day, that yeah. you only need about 10% more. It seems like it's working for Heidi, that's for sure. Let's take a look at Heidi's uh, before and after picks here. Heidi, what was your top weight? 162. What are you now, do you think? 120. How Damn. quickly did this happen? Six months. So six months you lost half a pound? Like, yeah, 42. All right, was it easy for you to follow this diet? Yes, very easy. What were you doing when you were, when you were eating on your on days? What kind of foods were you eating? I just ate a regular diet. Um, I don't eat breakfast. I'm not a breakfast eater. So for lunch, I'd have a salad, mm. and I'd eat dinner with my family, starch, vegetable, meat. How many calories do you think on your up day? Probably no more than 1,500. On your down day? I stayed around 250 calories oh, on the well, what, is that? what is that, an apple? That's, I mean, that's low? That's very um, low. I mean, most people do more than that. What are you eating, 250? Whoa. If I was hungry for breakfast, I'd get up, I'd eat a graham cracker and drink coffee. Woo! I usually wouldn't be hungry for lunch, so for dinner I would do something pre-packaged where my calories were already counted for me. A cup of soup or frozen vegetables, yeah. anything that was already counted for me so I didn't have to have the stress of counting my You own. wouldn't get woozy, you would, you would have energy? I, was, I had more energy on the diet than mm -hmm. I did before I actually started it. Why would that be, Mar? Why would she have more energy? Well, she may have more energy because of the fuel she's eating on the good day. Mm -hmm. But I have a lot of problems with all this. All right, let's have it. First of all, Dr. Johnson is a reputable plastic surgeon for 30 years. That doesn't make him a diet expert, a nutrition expert, or a gastrointestinal expert. He's coming over to the diets late in the game. Secondly, you know, there's a lot of literature on calorie-restricted diets, yeah. and you showed the mice going around. Well, mm -hmm. the mice is all we've even studied calorie restriction on. We put the body into a state of hibernation, and we can do damage to the bones, in possibly cause anemia, a lot of stress, anxiety. Now, here's the thing. This, I fear, could even be worse than what we talked about previously because you're telling the body to rev up, you know, let's tell the metabolism to go, and then you're shutting it down. It's like, run it at high speed, and then shut the car what's, down. What's wrong with that? What, what would that do to your Well, body? you're sending mixed messages to the body. The body doesn't like mis mixed messages. It likes one message. Uh, do you need my energy? Do you, do you need me to rev up or not? And if you, if you exercised on this diet, one day you got fuel, the next day you don't have fuel. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say about that? I think <laughs> that's just not true. There, there are um, thousands of scientists who have been studying this phenomenon in, in animals, alternate day feeding uh, for years and the, the fact is that they live 30 or 40 percent longer. Even animals, even mice that have been genetically engineered to be obese have better uh, parameters of health when they've been on an alternate yeah. day diet. Most of those studies are not an alternate day and none of them have been in humans. There's no, been most no studies in humans whatsoever day. to show that calorie restricted diet. Why are we not having Oh, that's not true. Humans. That is not true. Well, they I are. don't think they're safe in humans. I mean, it's it's really hard to get this to happen. The real issue, the real study has been in aging. Can you prevent aging with this? Carrie, what do you think of this? Nutritionist. As a registered dietitian, I'm concerned. Mm. I feel basically this is just another gimmick. And we're not teaching people how to eat healthy. I mean, this on and off. To well, me, that means like good days. That's been for years. That's conventional thinking. But and look at the obesity in this country. Okay. But this is, we're looking about long-term success. Okay. Yes, we are. I work as a registered health. dietitian. I see patients in my practice day in and day out. And I know those that think of days as a good day and a mm -hmm. bad day. There's no long term success for that. They're setting themselves up for failure. And she's done great. And, and I how applaud long, her. How but long do you encourage people to, to stay on this diet? Indefinitely, as a, as a lifestyle. When you yeah. turn on the metabolism, you get plenty of hormones going on day one. On day two, the body's revved up and it doesn't have the fuel. I'm also concerned because she's That's just absolutely restricted. contrary to what our published results show. But in you're our not studying study. the medical effects on people. Oh, you're, yes, you're, we are. Well, not, what about there's no controlled trials. There's no, there's right. no prospective there are no randomized controlled tri trials where? yet. And there are no randomized controlled trials on cigarette smoking and lung cancer okay. either. Okay. But what uh, you know, it does sound that like doesn't take away the, the validity of the science. It does sound gimmicky. What's wrong with a gimmick if, it's, if you're reducing calories? This sounds temporary, okay? It's temporary and also reducing calories has me concerned of nutritional deficiencies. My thing is when I'm gotcha. hearing you say that you're having a graham cracker one day and, you know, frozen broccoli with some cheese on it, the next day, I, I just, she's not an expert in nutrition, so it's hard for her to, to, to tell which foods to take that will, will add those nutrients to her body. Well, How do you help? Uh, well, I tell people that they should follow the kind of diet that is advocated by uh, Walter Willett, which is, uh, who is the, the world's leading epidemiologist, and they've looked at all the traits of various populations and come up with guidelines that say that you should eat whole grains uh, as the base of your pyramid, uh, smaller amounts of fish and chicken, 
very limited uh, beef. It's interesting. Read more about it. Animal Again, it's called the alternate day diet. And thank you all for coming in and tell us about it.